you saw earlier were actually from a few weeks ago. I'm just finally getting time now to film the haul, but I hope you all enjoy what I picked up at the Goodwill Grand Opening. Um, if you come to my channel for thrift hauls that are mostly clothing and accessories, I don't have that much clothing or accessories. Um, I only got four things, so I'll start off with that first. And then everything else that I got is basically just homeware and decor stuff. So if you like watching my budget home decor or decor thrift store hauls, then you'll enjoy this one. So let's just get right into it. I have quite a few bags. I got one, like five or six bags. Um, this is the first bag. And the first thing that I found, when I was just, I really wasn't looking at the clothes. I just kind of went there because it was a quiet space and away from all the crazies. But I just wanted to kind of flip through and see what kind of brands they had and what type of clothes they were getting. But I thought that I lucked out with this one. So this sweater, I guess if you want to call it that, it's a knit, you know, kind of boxy crop top. Um, and I really love the print. It really reminds me of Masoni. Uh, see that. But it really reminds me of Masoni. And it is actually Free People. So I was really excited to see free, that it was a Free People sweater. Um, I've never thrifted Free People. I've only got it at retail shops. But I'm really excited to wear this. And it's a size medium and it was $4 purple tag. So it wasn't half off or anything like that. Um, I did get one thing that was half off and the other was $1.50 because of the two colors of the day. Next clothing item that I found was this maternity top, which I did look in the maternity section. I didn't find this top in the maternity section. I just found it with, I just found it with the regular tops. But um, yeah, it's pee in the pod um, maternity. It's a size medium. And it just looks like this. It's just, you know, maternity, so it's really long and has ruching on the side. But what I really liked about it was the detail on um, the neckline and on the sides, the trim with the silver beads. I thought that was really nice. And it was a pink tag. It was $6, so I got it 50% off, so I got it for 3 bucks. And I think that's a great, it's a great brand, first off, and it was a great deal. Alright, the last top that I got... I had to just because this is my favorite show and when I saw it I was just was like oh, I have to get it and then I saw that it was going to be $1.50 so I got this Bazinga shirt because <laughs> I love Sheldon Cooper. Thumbs up if you love watching The Big Bang Theory because I love it as well but when I saw that it was this Bazinga shirt and it was uh, the Big Bang Theory t-shirt. I wanted to get it and it's a size medium. Like I said, it was $1.50. So I might be able to wear it now. Definitely can wear it after the little one comes. And then the last piece that I got um, was surprised when I went to the wallets, just kind of looking and freezing around. And I actually found this gold metallic coach wristlet for $4.00. Now, I did look at all the tags, and I checked the hardware and everything, and it is a legit real coach wristlet, and the lining is this lavender purple color. Um, yeah, it definitely has some wear um, to it, but I thought for four bucks that that was a really good deal, and like it has all these stringies, I can just cut that off, but yeah. Those are all the clothes that I got, so yeah, all the clothes I got. Um, so, they had a lot of Target brand stuff that was new with tags, so I did pick up a few of those items. Um, one of the first things that I got were these adorable, cute, um, it's a Cayman of two. Are they porcelain? I don't know, they're basically, yeah, I would say porcelain, white bowls, and they have these really cute, um, gold detail on it and they are Nate Burgess so of course they came from Target um, just wash your safe but you can't microwave it and it said on here that they were $29.99 and I got them for $2.99 so I thought it was really cute I don't know if I'm actually going to use it for food 
or if I'm just going to put jewelry in it or craft supplies, but I thought they were too cute to pass up, so I had to get those. Next Target item were bread, brand new again, and it was these um, slate coasters, and they're polka dot. I love that they were tied with twine, and they were $1.49. I did make my own cork coasters, but these ones are a little more substantial, and I think that um, well, they're nice. I made a dollar for nine. You can't pass that up, so I got that as well. All right. The next two items that I got are art related. So the first thing that I got is this book. It's Discover the Artist with a New Watercolor: The Easy Way. Um, so this is just kind of a kit, I guess where I'll open it up for you. It has this book that has all these different techniques on how to do watercolor. It has 20 sheets of these watercolor pads. It has, let me read it off. So it has 64 page full color instructional book on watercolor, 20 sheet water paper pad, and three paint tubes, three watercolor paint tubes, one tube of white gouache, which I've never used gouache before. Um, Karen Cabot had talked about it in her paint video, so I'm really excited to use it. And then one, and then two brushes and four paint pans. So all of the supplies are up here, which is really neat and cool. And I haven't watercolored in so long, so it'd be nice to kind of hone in my skills. And this was six dollars. Next thing I got. Oh wow, I didn't even see that on the back. Okay, anyways, but it's this basically. Um, Decorative paper or scrapbook paper. Um, I thought the colors were just beautiful. These grays and greens and um, creams. And it was $3. It's by Amy Butler. They're 12 by 12 double sided paper. And I mean the colors on this thing is just beautiful. Like even if I don't scrapbook with this, I thought I could just put it in frames. And then just frame it as art on the wall. Because these are just beautiful. And I believe it's from Target as well. Yeah, I still need to wash this. Um, and it's just this kind of like tan, burlap y fabric almost. It's basically a woven canvas type fabric. And then it has all these like neon green stitches in it that makes this kind of really cool tribal print. And it has this thing on here that says it was sanitized and everything. But I'm still going to wash it. But it was only $4. So I thought this would be nice to go on our bed. Because we already have a pillow that is kind of like that fabric. Just a different print. Alright. Um, so next two things are for the baby. So we've been trying to get started working on the nursery. Since um, my son will be here in April. So I wanted to do his room in like a Babar theme so far is what I've been had set in my mind. So when I saw this wooden elephant, I thought this would be perfect. And it's gray, which is also a color I kinda have gonna have in the nursery too. Um, I mean it's wooden and you just hang it, it has a little um, indentation where you can just hang it on the wall. You just hang it like that. I mean, there's a few, there's a few spots where I would probably touch up with some paint, but for three bucks, I thought it was cool. And they had other animals, but they had like glittery things on it. I thought that was too girly. So, pass on that. Just got the elephant. And then the last thing that I got from a little baby, also from Target, and it was this match and play activity set. Um, and it just has like the different blocks, these little textured balls, and then the box and match to put in here, and then like a TV room that you can put in the fridge to chill. Um, and I really thought, oh yeah, so here's the back what it all comes with. And we didn't really register for toys that much, so I just thought I would buy it. Look how cute the little baby is, so cute. Um, the only thing that's missing is the square block, which is probably why it was four bucks. But everything else looks like it hasn't been used, but since these are just like slipped in there, like these could have easily come off and it fell out somewhere. But I'm just going to maybe go to Target and see if I can find another block or something that will go through there. 
Yeah. But yeah, I was happy to find that. I thought it was a really cute like, little turtle. Okay. So that's basically everything that I got so far. I saved the best for last. And it has to be these two fashion sketches. Um... They are signed, but I'm not sure. I can't really read who it, the signature is. But I absolutely love these. I went over to the picture section and I saw these, and they were only six dollars each. And I was so shocked that they were still there. I mean, I don't even. I love. I even love the black frames that they're in. Um, this one she's wearing kind of like a long pink dress. This one she's wearing a blue dress with yellow and red like necklace. I just thought these were awesome, and I can't wait to put them in the basement our little craft section once I get that all set up because I love fashion and I love making clothes and things like that so I thought it would be really cool but yeah and that's basically everything I got yeah so grand opening can be pretty overwhelming but I think I did pretty well um, I really like everything that I purchased so um, now that I've done this haul, I actually can put some of this stuff away and clean it and whatever I have to do, but I'm really excited about everything that I got. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. And leave me a comment down below, let me know which item that I got that you liked or any cool thrift on that you found lately. I love to hear what you guys are finding. And let me know if you've ever been to a Goodwill grand opening and if you were just as overwhelmed as I was because I was totally out of my element. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, then go ahead and click that subscription button and join the family here. And I will see you all next time.